I just wanted some sauce on those zingers. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the show. A couple shameless plugs. First and foremost, this Monday, I will be streaming at 4.30 p.m. And uh, due to a goal we hit during my live streams, I will be playing Pokemon for the Switch 2. I don't remember the name of the Pokemon game, but I already bought it, and I'm going to be suffering through it, and I really don't want to play it, but... My audience wants me to, so there it is. I'll have a link to that stream below in the description. It's scheduled. Hope to see you there to watch me be aggravated. And also, too, I have an ASMR channel called Tech 25 ASMR, and I have a video going live about 3 p.m. today, and I'll be talking about tech from my Christmas past throughout Christmas holidays. It's actually a fairly interesting video. And there's even some stories that I forgot about until making the video. So it's an interesting trip down memory lane and talking about all the technology that I have experienced throughout the years. Link to my ASMR channel below in the description and top pin comment. So RAM prices, I've gotten a lot of requests to talk about this. And uh, the reason why I held off a little bit is I wanted to understand the story more. And I think the situation with this is way more grim and way more permanent than uh, some people have been letting on. I don't think this is just going to be, oh, RAM prices are going to be like when during COVID, when everyone was scalping everything and Graphics cards were insanely expensive. And I think a lot of people are under the impression that this is what's going to happen here. All oh, rich, there's going to be price hikes and yeah, it may get crazy, but everything will come back down, right? Right? No, I think this is actually the beginning of the end where affordable, powerful computing from home is going to die out. And these AI data centers, even more than likely when the AI uh, bubble, the economic bubble bursts, they're going to go, hey, you want to edit videos? You just have to pay monthly and you won't have a computer at home that could natively edit those videos. I'm telling you that this, this is where this is going. They're going to make home powerful computing unaffordable for anybody. So you will be holding to them. So you have to use apps through their services. Mark my damn words and it pisses me off. Anyway, so just to show you how bad the RAM prices have gotten, because here's what's happening. All the... HBM memory, high bandwidth memory, and DRAM and storage, all of these AI data centers uh, that the tech bros bought out the current administration, who is crazily corrupt, hate to bring in politics, but politics is everywhere, okay? Politics is everywhere. NVIDIA gave $10 million to Trump's ballroom so they could get their chips exported to China. And because Trump loves being bribed, He's like, hey, you have to go check a hey, G. You have to go check out uh, NVIDIA. They got those super duper chips. Believe me. It, it, that's literally what happened. So you have to wake up and realize that politics, maybe people who now wouldn't realize this stuff may pay attention because they can't get RAM for their new gaming PC. It's like the last thing you should be worrying about is, you know, oh, my entertainment products are going up in price, but it leads to a much more bigger, much more serious picture. And we're looking at it now. Look at these RAM prices, okay? This is Corsair Vengeance RGB. It's 32 gigabytes of DDR5, right? Okay. Here's the prices from Best Buy, Newegg, Corsair, b and I'm not going to go into each specific. Look at the trend. This is August 8th. You could get this kit from Newegg for less than 100 bucks. Let's go now to... It is now... December 5th, that same kit now goes for $400 on Newegg, 400 bucks. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, they, they, they're pricing us out of having our own computers in our homes. Well, now to make things even worse, Micron, who makes crucial memory, is getting out of the consumer business completely. Like they're done. They're just making products and HBM and RAM for enterprise AI data centers. This comes from The Verge. This is what they had to say. Micron is retiring the crucial brand, marking the end of its line of budget-friendly solid-state drives and RAM kits, as reported earlier by video cards. In an announcement on Wednesday, Micron says winding down its consumer-focused business will improve supply and support for our larger strategic customers in faster-growing 
segments. The brand shutdown is a huge blow for PC builders and hobbyists who already are dealing with skyrocketing RAM prices linked to a surge in demand from AI companies. OpenAI, for example, struck a deal with SK Hynix and Samsung to make up 900,000 DRAM per month for its Stargate project. And all of these companies who make the RAM, there's only three of them. There's Samsung, SK Hynix, and Micron. And one of them is leaving the consumer market. So you know what that means? Even less competition. And that means prices are going to go up even more now. But this enterprise money where there are endless coffers to give over the money right now because of the AI bubble we're in, it's just, it's the greed is just taking over, man. And those profits are just too delicious. Continuing, now there's going to be one less brand selling consumer-focused memory for PCs, potentially intensifying the global memory shortage. And I'm sure Crucial is going to have layoffs as well. Soaring demand for RAM is already impacting pricing at CyberPower PC, Framework, and Raspberry Pi. While HP has even hinted at raising the prices of its devices or equipping them with less memory. I, I, this is so disastrous. And this is because right now, uh, these tech companies have the current administration in their pockets and they're not going to regulate them. They're not. And like I said, we only have three companies making memory and you need memory for everything. You need memory for everything. And I don't think people realize that. All right, you may be watching this video right now and be like, Rich, I'm not a tech nerd like you. I don't care. I'm not going to be going out and buying sticks of RAM and I'm not building gaming PCs. I have a console or I just game, you know, I play casual games on my phone. What does your phone have? RAM. What does it have? Memory. What, it, what, what does a smart TV have? RAM. Memory. What does a smart refrigerator have in 2025? RAM. Memory. And what else do you think this is leading to as well? I, I mentioned this in passing before. Everything is going to be a service. Everything. Whether you want to just edit videos, whether you want to play games, whatever software you want to use. Oh, you want to use that software? Oh, that sucks. You just have a screen with super basic computing power at your home. Guess you're going to have to sign up to one of our services where all the computing is done in the cloud and you have no computing power in your home and you are beholden to these big tech companies to do anything. That's where it's going to. And it was Gamers Nexus that said this too. Even when this AI bubble bursts, which it's barely an if, it's 99.9% .9 a when, that's their backup goal with it. Oh, AI didn't, not everyone wants to make ridiculous videos. Not everyone wants an AI God, even though I think, unfortunately, we may be going down that route, not to get conspiratorial, but I don't even really think it's a conspiracy theory that they want to make an AI God. Uh, we'll just make him, we'll just make him sign up for everything, no matter what it is. We'll make him sign up for, oh, they want to use uh, video editing in the cloud. They want to get this app in the cloud, no native computing. So you have to get subscriptions for everything for the rest of your life. You will own nothing and be happy. And I think that is the long-term purpose of this. Sounds nefarious, sounds dark, but it's very true. On a surface level note, if you're looking to get some kind of consumer electronics right now, now would be the time to do it. Because I don't see these prices coming down anytime soon. And unfortunately, I don't see them coming down at all. I hope I'm wrong, but the writing is on the wall. This is Rich Tomorrow, signing out. Have a good one.